What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Hopefully this draft will go a little better than the former one, if you guys were able to see that. I think we're th picking Thoughtseize here. Feels like one of the better options in this pack. Thoughtseize is a really strong magic card. You get to stop whatever your opponent's doing. And you get to have a good time. Fury is pretty good. Fury is a good magic card. So is Ponder. We just drafted blue-black. Should that stop us from taking a Ponder? I don't know. What about a Primeval Titan? I don't know. Ponder and Fury are the two cards I'm most interested in here. I want to take Fury for the variety and because it's also a strong card. I want to take Ponder because it's just cheap and good. I think we're going to take Fury. I also kind of like getting a fourth year Lingus and being Mardu, so. And now you can take a Plateau and try to live that dream, you know? We could have taken Counterspell. I think we're going to take Bitter Triumph, actually. Um, I think it's just really good. And, and this is kind of a reanimate color. If Plateau or Glorybringer come back, or even Lingering Souls, I'll be very thrilled. If not, I'll understand. I do like a Guardian Scale Lord. And this pack's pretty poop otherwise. If you have to think about taking Ponder, you're pondering. <laughs> well said. Well said. Um, I'll take Scale Lord. I also don't think we're necessarily red yet. Him to Torok is great. If this was a... What's a Mardu? What's the Mardu one? Anyway, if it was the Mardu one, I'd take it. We're taking him to Torok. Thought Season him to Torok is a great combination. I don't think Inquisition's that good. There's so many cards that you want to hit that Inquisition doesn't hit. Like, I feel like the biggest threats in the cube are large spells. Deep Cavern, busy. Also, Snuff Out. I like a big Snuffles. Considering I have him and Thoughtseize, I kind of like Snuff Out a little better here. Lurus is nice too, but we're probably not going to be a Lurus deck with two five drops. Even if we only play one of them, I still want to not play either of these just for Lurus. I think Lurus is kind of a trap. <sighs> Let's take snuff out here. Free, oh, now we got a fatal push. All right, well, they're just giving us a bunch of good, efficient, interactive cards. I do like a Sarah Paragon and a Gideon. Sarah Paragon is just like a Lurus, right? Like, it's just a, a Lurus for three instead of two. Yeah, I do like Paragon. Okay, sure. I want to put Fury in the sideboard. Maybe we could just be black, white, good stuff, which is a deck I really like. Seasoned Hollow Blade is also pretty good at putting cards in the graveyard to reanimate. Oh, Grave Titan came back? And a Shattered Sanctum. I think Shattered Sanctum is actually more important. That's fucking weird to say. I think having fixing, good fixing in the black, white deck is, is really important. What did we take Fury over? Ponder? Eh, that's okay. I don't care about Kithian. Porcelain Legionnaire might be fine. I don't like Imperial Seal. Maybe Imperial Seal's fine. It's still a tutor. Having to do it on your main phase and then like wait until the next turn is not ideal, but whatever. Maybe it's fine. Oh, the Plateau came back? And the Lingering Souls? All three of the cards we wanted came back. Um, I think it's just Lingering Souls here. Like, we have no real reason to go into red if we don't have to, just for a Fury. This is looking pretty sweet so far. We do need some 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 permanents, like a Luminarch Aspirant. That's pretty good with Lingering Souls. All right, this deck's, looks, this deck's looking sweet. 
feeling better about this deck than we did the previous one. We also have Fatal Push, Bitter Triumph, and Snuff Out. And then we also have him and Thoughtseize, Steel Seraph. That's a sick looking bird. Okay, so yeah, this looks great. Last trick it last last pick and trepid adversary. Wow, with lingering souls. I'm loving it. I do like a Dak Faden, but we're not taking Dak Faden. Library is kind of meh. I think I just want staff. What do we have so far? Lingering souls. That's pretty much it. Okay. But staff is pretty good. Phyrexian Flesh Gorge is also really sweet. Um, I don't love Library because it kind of takes us off our plan. Like it makes make casting him really hard. It makes casting double White Steel Seraph difficult. It makes casting turn one Thought Seize impossible. Like it's just kind of an obnoxious... It, it just disrupts your game plan. I think it's better with a control deck than like a deck that's trying to like curve out into good creatures. I kind of like Flesh Gorger more than Staff. Especially because we only have one card that's making any tokens. I'm going to take the Flesh Gorger here. Oh, Archon? Definitely Windmill Slamming an Archon. Because now we just have some really good three drops. Yeah, definitely taking Archon. Godless Shrine? Yeah. I'll take that over Torok and maybe cross my fingers that Torok comes back. But I definitely want as many black, uh, black white lands as possible. Definitely taking Entomb here. Um... <sighs> Atrax is also really good. Jeez. We have Archon already. I think we can do with Entomb. Atrax or Dismember might come back. But having Entomb is really nice because we can put like Lingering Souls in the graveyard. If we really need blockers, we can put these guys in the trash can. Council's Judgment? Hmm. Skull Clamp. It's good with Lingering Souls. I kind of like Skull Clamp. I think we're good on removal. I'd rather just have Skull Clamp. And if we actually get a Stone Forge, it just turns on Stone Forge. Oh, Balance is interesting. Here's an Exhum. I kind of want Exhum, especially with Entomb. We're passing Path, but I think we're actually pretty good on removal. We have Bitter Triumph, Fatal Push. Um, now that we have Entomb and Bitter Triumph, I do want to have some sort of reanimation. Also, Flesh Gorger was a good reanimate target as well. Just a 7-5. Where they have to pay 7 to kill it. <laughs> Dam is pretty good in our deck. It's either a Wrath or a just a removal spell. Is that better than Graveyard Trespasser? Maybe. I think Trespasser might still be better, especially with Exhum. I kind of like being able to take their graveyard things out. <sighs> Fallen Shinobi is the a, a goat, especially with Lingering Souls. I think we got to take Marsh Flats. There's a couple. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nothing's coming back from this. Yeah, I'm taking Marsh Flats. Oh, Staff came back. Fantastic. Also, Bone Shards. Is Bone Shards better than Staff here? I think so. Yeah, I'll take a Containment Priest. I will definitely take... Oh, Torok and Elite Spellbinder came back. I think it's Torok here. Eh... I'm going to take Elite Spellbinder. It's easier to cast. I like having more three drops. See, I wanted Marsh Flats because we do have Godless Shrine. So it's a nice, it's a nice dual land. Plus, like, it's a situation where it's like, oh, Dismember and Selfless Spirit came back. Well, we're not going to see Shinobi. So I think we're just taking Dismember. That's so much removal, though. Bone Shards, Fatal Push, Bitter Triumph. I just think it's better. Oh my god, Council's Judgment and Avacyn came back. I'm taking Judgment. We'll just hope that we can have some more... Um... Like This guy's also... like I like that these guys are scalable. This can be a 6-drop or a 3-drop. 
Thraven Inspector, that's just a playable guy. All right, our deck is pretty much done. Well, this is this deck, I feel like we're definitely in the right colors. Plus, we got Wrath and Containment Priest in the side. Dam did not come back, unfortunately. There is a Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, there's also an Ancestral. <laughs> Well, we passed Rafine's Tower and Tundra, I think, but I'm definitely just taking Ancestral and hoping to wheel, like, Colonnade, Wandering Emperor, Stoneforge. Yeah, we're just taking Ancestral. We have a Marsh Flats already. We can, we can find an Underground or a Watery Grave, right? Guys? I like a Gristle Daddy. Yep, we'll just take Gristle Daddy here. Again, we have plenty of ways to discard. I'm looking for mainly Gristle uh, reanimate cards now. Gristly bristle. Scrubland. Love it. Absolutely love it. We have so many playables right now. Duress could come back from that pack. There was a couple other playables in that pack. Uh, Cathar Commando. Let's move that guy. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Should have taken. Should, God, you're still going. Uh, my Genesis engine phase is not over. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show restraint. I like Andoral here, especially if the, um, Stoneforge comes back. I think we might just want mother here. Yeah, I'll just oh concealed courtyard, yes please. We could also just not play ancestral. It's a gr it's greedy to play, but I mean if we end up getting, yeah, I'm just taking all the lands. <laughs> we have yeah, this is like 25 playables plus ancestral if we manage to get a a blue mana or two. Damnation, Dothy Voidwalker, Vindicate. Two cards from this pack are coming back. It's got to be Vindicate, right? Vindicate's just so solid. We have so many. We have so many. So much removal right now. I think it's actually Voidwalker here. I think there's also a higher chance that uh, Vindicate will come back. Glimmerlands and Jitte. I'm pretty sure it's Jitte. This is this pack's also nuts. I would take Winds, Glimmerlands, Tenacious. Underdog or Jitte. I think it's just Jitte here. And now I would definitely play Stoneforge if we if it came back. Lauren? Okay, Lauren's completely playable. Masker is also fine, but Lauren actually kills an artifact or an enchantment, which we like. This deck is just kind of nuts. I'm honestly wondering if we even play the reanimate, because we only have Exhum right now. And we could easily just cut these guys to have a really, really strong like black white tempo -y deck. Oh my god. This is a dark confidant deck for sure. Wandering Emperor is also excellent so is Stoneforge. God, I feel like it's dark confidant with this deck. I think it now it's got to be Stoneforge, right? It's Stoneforge, especially if the Endoral comes back. Stoneforge gets Skull Clamp and Jitte. If we're trying to bob, we already have Stone Clamp. Oh my god. Cathar Commando, Misery Shadow, Rankle, and Hex Mage all came back. I 
I'm gonna take Hex Mage. Maybe Dark Depths comes back. Like we have Lor. There's it. There's Andoral. Great. Got that too. Okay. Every card we've wanted came back. Recurring Nightmare. Great. <laughs> our whole deck. We can get our whole deck back with Sir Paragon. Vindicate. Last second to last pick Vindicate. Perfect. But Tenacious Underdog? Sure. Great. Take it. <laughs> so now we have three targets. I think we have to make five cuts. Yeah. Okay. Alright, this is what we settled on for those on YouTube. We took out Dismember, Blade Splicer, Hex Mage. Underdog, and we went with uh, 16 lands. Because these are basically three drops, and this card's free. <laughs> so it basically means we curve out with one four drop and one five drop. And if we end up getting more mana, we can just play these at more mana. And we have like five uh, black-white dual lands, which is pretty pretty good. So Ancestral Recall on the sideboard. Kind of hurts. If we took that Rafine's Tower in the first pack, I'd, I'd consider it. I think playing Ancestral over uh, with only with two lands is still pretty good. But. Alrighty then. Round one. I do feel much better about this deck than the previous deck. If the previous deck, uh, if you remember, and no one drops with this deck. And no way to cast Voidwalker here. We'll keep it. We have plenty of black sources. I think we have 10 black sources and 11 white sources. Come on, don't, don't do me like this. Like our, our our one mana cards are like Thraben Inspector, Mother of Runes, Thoughtseize, Skull Clamp. Also Fatal Push. Black Source. Beautiful. Well, we do have Guardian Scale Lord mana. Oh, this guy's just roll this guy's just going distance. <laughs> I'm jealous. Gonna be a little jealous. That could have been us. Actually, it can still be us. Dothy Voidwalker. Ooh. Interesting. Is the play just Stoneforge getting Jitte or is it getting Skull Clamp? <sighs> Well, yeah, but that's what the that's what the five the five multicolor lands are good for too. Like concealed courtyard on turn one, marsh flats, um, scrub, scrubland or god the shrine are all, all are all great for that. So it actually leaves us with like four ways to do that. Very tempted to just draw three here. If we draw three, we go to nine. We can play Stoneforge, but that replaces itself. So we just kind of stay at nine. I am afraid of fourth year Olingus here off of this talisman. They're playing three basics so far in a three color deck. Okay, that's colorless, not a. Oh, they're just gonna like wipe our guys. Second time delayed fire blast has gotten us. So that's unfortunate. But we can actually get it back with Scale Lord soon. 
Oh, or Sarah Paragon. I mean, fingers crossed they don't have an answer for Sarah Paragon, because it's pretty good. We can just cast Voidwalker and keep up either Bitter Triumph or Jitte. If Scale Lord gets the counter on itself, we can also... Oh, okay, that's cute. Oh, I like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Holy Jesus, what a hand. I guess we're getting rid of Metamorph here. Fiery Confluence doesn't kill Sarah Paragon without killing all your other guys. Metamorph can just copy the Paragon, which I don't like. I don't really want to put these guys in the graveyard. Does this guy get uh, Death Touch? No, he just becomes a 3-3, three, three, then a 4-4? Four, four? Sure. I mean... It does get Death Touch, so I'm just going to take that. The second ability gets Death Touch, not the third ability. Good thing we read that. Sure. So we have six mana. We can play Scale Lord targeting her. Getting back. Or we can just go like... We know the cards you have, so. I mean, what are the odds they wipe the board here? I mean, I think it's fine because they were just losing Voidwalker. Like, they can't Fiery Confluence our Sarah Paragon. We can plus it times a million. We can gain some life off of it. is this <laughs> attack oh lovely how lovely what a good draw you had two turns to draw it and you drew it okie dokie so that's just game right you put gristle brand into play and we die oh i guess we can gain four sure it's holly instead that's interesting you hit a triplicate titan and a mother of runes. Fantastic. God, I really wish I had this kind of luck. That would be incredible. They are going to have to sacrifice this. This is 10. No blocks. So we're not dead.
They sacrifice that. We can bring it back with Voidwalker, which is kind of cool. Skull Clamp, do you do anything? I mean, our biggest problem is this triplicate Titan. And the sneak attack, I guess. And we gain two from this, which is great. Choose that guy. Cast you. Our hits, Coalition Relic, and Fatal Push. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I guess we're killing... We have to kill Mother, otherwise we just die to this stupid sleeper, right? What can we even do here? If how many times can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? We can make we can pump this guy twice, making Sarah Paragon. I mean, they also have Gristlebrand coming, which is pretty obnoxious. Sarah Paragon would be four, eight. Yeah, I don't think we have a way to deal with both Sarah. Uh, this is okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can make it a nine, which does block a Gristlebrand. And then we can actually bitter triumph this. And they also have Fiery Confluence, which is kind of obnoxious because they can just deal a six. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um... Not sure how to navigate this. I don't think there's any I don't think there's any real way out of this to be fair. <sighs> like we pump this, we make it a seven eight. We'd have to make this guy, we'd have to do this guy twice to make it an 8-9. Like, Bitter Triumph kills one of the creatures, but we already take three. They have three red, so they can easily go Sneak Attack, Gristlebrand, Fiery Confluence, six damage to our face. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. This game is just over, unfortunately. Great. Containment Priest definitely coming in. All right. Um, I don't think Bone Shards does it. Dismember doesn't do it. Wrath of God doesn't do it. I think it might just be Containment Priest here. We have Lauren, we have Council's Judgment, we have Vindicate. We have a ton of cards that actually deal with uh, Sneak Attack. Snuff out. Probably fine. Just take out Andural, I think. It's a little expensive. One land. That's not gonna do it. That's better. Not great. They also went to six. Of course you get your one drop. Oh, Lord.
this guy's better because on turn four we're not actually next turn we're not going to be able to really do anything with Stoneforge, so might as well play this guy, get the extra counter out. Whereas Stoneforge is the same next turn, and we can grab Jitte and kill the Evolved Sleeper. Uh, no blocks. Good. So let's get Jitte. Put a counter on you, so now you're a productive blocker. And if they try to pump, we can... It's fatal push it. No, oh, they did not. Fascinating. I do like that. We don't have to do this now for killing the Coalition Relic. Because they're only going to have four mana next turn, not five. So this feels better. Oh, okay. So we just win the game. Great success. All right. Well, yeah, still feels like everything is correct. <sighs> A lot of one-landers. Don't love them. This is good. Let's keep and we'll ship. I think we're just shipping Jitte. God, Jitte's back breaking. I'm gonna ship a I'm gonna ship a planes under the assumption that we can probably hit a third land by turn three. It's three draws. We need one land to really make this hand pop. And I don't really want to give any of these up. Is it greed? I don't know. Is it correct? Maybe. Okie dokie. I mean, if they can't, if they go, if they go sneak next turn, then we get to Lauren hit. Unlicensed hearse. Can also Lauren that. But now I'm a little concerned. I guess we can we can Lauren the the talisman here. I want to play something. And that means they can't do their thing next turn. So we can all if we draw land, we can equip and keep up containment priest. Like that. Delayed, Gristle, and Atali. Well, we're definitely taking the Delayed. And they just have nothing after that. Okay. Well, this feels decent.
Yeah, they're quite a few lands away from doing anything, so that's good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's actually more damage to just equip Jitte, play Thraben Inspector. They can still cast that for five. I'm a moron. I feel like I'm playing worse than I ever have. I don't understand like how I'm playing this poorly. I should have just played Flesh Gorger there. Wow, that was shockingly bad. Like for some reason in my head, I'm like, oh, they discarded this. It's gone now. Not the fact that they could actually just play it. Great. I mean, fingers crossed they don't draw land, I guess. Wow, that was so shockingly bad. Oh, dodging bullets here. <laughs> Snuff out's actually pretty decent. This could still be fine. Sure. All right. They're just going to hard cast a Tali here. Pop out the old exile piles. But we do get to kill it. I guess we just hope it's nothing good that they hit. Okay, Intrepid Adversary, Nice Whisper, not the worst. We can Fatal Push this guy, attack for seven, and they're at 13. Actually, I don't think we even need to do that because of we can just neg. Plus two, plus two. Plus two, plus two. So this means they can't draw with Gristlebrand and we have Bitter Ordeal to kill it. Sure. Yeah, so we can just sit on this. We have Mother of Runes back up. A fourth land here would have been great. Very, very tense. <sighs> Is that how that works? Did we take five? If it's passed from exile, it deals five damage. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know that was how that worked. Yeah, we actually made it cheaper for them. I mean, it was going to kill. It's gonna, killing all our board anyway. I'd rather force them to pay five for it than pay three for it. But it doesn't matter because we didn't even like, we totally forgot that they could cast it. So
All right, round dose. I don't love this hand, but if we can draw any one or two drop here, I think that would be just fabulous. Yeah, like whether it's two damage or five damage, it's gonna have the same impact on our creatures, you know? So it's like, eh, it's fine. Okay, not a, not a two or a one drop of which we have like 17. Like our whole deck is one and two drops. <laughs> 16 lands, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's never resolving. Mana drain, no, oh, just counter spell, sure. What are the odds they have an answer for this guy? I hope it's zero. <sighs> okay. One on one, one on one, doesn't really matter, I guess. Well, I guess we can just hard cast a Seal Seraph next turn. Cool. Just got an answer for everything. Fantastic. Congratulations. Very good at this game. Oh, wonderful. I have Thoughtseize and him to Torok in my deck. Yep, just gonna concede here. That's We're never getting fucking past Genesis Engine, so that's cool. We have no other creatures... Other uh, creature, what's the word I'm looking for? Discard in our sideboard for that bullshit. But I guess we're just gonna run it like this. I don't know, it seems fine. Snap keep. Swords. Thieving Skydiver and our hand is two. <laughs> oh Lord. I kind of just want to take the counter spell. Thieving Skydiver stealing Flesh Gorger or Andoral seems absolutely terrible. Like the worst possible matchup. Oh lord. We have two artifacts in hand. They have Thieving Skydiver. I guess it's Thieving Skydiver. Oh, interesting. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, so we know you have these four and whatever you drew. So counterspell, sword's gone. Foundry and iteration. Bobble, great. Yep. 
Skull clampers, huh? We're just attacking with mom here. They don't have any way to really capitalize it on it right now, so yeah, that's fine. I also think the damage is relevant. Wow, resolved. Eating a Tefri here seems pretty decent. I don't hate it. They're just taking it? Going to four. Hmm. Stoneforge can go get Jitte. We'll just equip here and see what happens. I assume they're gonna Winds of Abandon at some point, which gets us three lands, puts us to eight, then we can play Sarah Paragon and Stoneforge in the same turn. They can make two blockers. I think that's, they just have to, oh, what are they doing here? What's going on? Bouncing mom. <laughs> the perfect sequence. Oh, they had everything, don't you see? Exiling, sure. You got it. All right, so close yet so far. Now they're gonna. Now they're gonna win. Fantastic. Two, three. Do we think they have Mana Drain as their last card? I mean, this is big. You gotta have a removal spell on your two cards.
Make a guy. Put a counter on it? Yeah, great. Okay. What if I just kill this dude? Mana drain. All right, you have no cards left. Attack your face. Put these guys into play. Oh, they just also attack your face? Well, that's not what we wanted. Hmm. Play Marsh Flats, crack it. Oh, they weren't attacking because it's not legendary. That's how that works. Sure. So they have to draw. They're going to kill this. All right. Let's see what your top deck is. Oh, thank God. We did it. All right. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. Like, no matter which direction we put our uh, Sarah Paragon towards, it's they're going to block, so. And they had to draw Mana Drain for the, the Bitter Triumph, so. We have yet to draw him to Torok. I feel like this would be a great matchup for it. I also almost like Vampire Hex Mage because they don't seem to have a ton of creatures, but they do have at least a Planeswalker. Cut Fatal Push for it. Snuff Out's still free. I'm going to keep it. We have three plays here. We're on the draw. Tre Treachery, Teferi, Mentor, Sword, and Talisman. Kind of just want to take Talisman here. They just don't have anything else. Treachery, Teferi's obnoxious. They're going to go second land. We're going to go second land. Aspirant, uh, we can actually go mother. Yeah, I'm going to take mentor. I think I care about Teferi the least. Talisman. Yeah, we're just going to get Godless Shrine here in case we don't actually draw another. They do get to bounce, but then we just get to kill Teferi, so it's really... Oh, they're just not going to do that. They're going to do something different. <laughs> sure, you got it. Well, they get to keep treachery. Yep. 
<laughs> oh, fantastic. Must be nice. Did our first round opponent also have Ancestral Recall? Or was that this first round? Sure feels like our first round opponent also had it. Cool. Having land seems nice. I have mana drain as well, you see. I've drawn it off the top of my dick. <laughs> of course. Nothing but the best for our opponent. Yep, you got it. Guess I'll take five and go to six against the blue white control deck. <laughs> Fucking comical. I mean, we're also going into like turn six, and I've I've missed three land drops. When you when you go to sixteen lands instead of seventeen, you missed half your land drops. That's just statistics. Everybody knows that. Why don't any of these creatures have vigilance? I knew we should have took Wandering Emperor. It's just very good. What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> sure. Doesn't do anything. They just take our guy with fucking with with treachery. We don't get to attack. We only have seven, so we can't play two things. Oh boy. Yeah, this is just not a winnable game for us, unfortunately. What do we draw? Yeah, that's not good. None of, the, none of those are going to do it. All right. Well. This deck seemed great. I'm, I think barring our land issues and our opponents just absolutely drawing the nuts, like I think we're, we have a good shot. All right. Um, yeah, this is probably as good as to be expected, I think. Oh, the mirror match. Oh, the better mirror match. Got it. Parallax wave, Jitte, unexpectedly absent. Good gravy. It's got to be Parallax wave here. That card is... Bananas. I 
I mean, if they want to play Jitte on a creature, they have to draw a creature. I can kill it, and they have to draw another creature after that, so. Draw two creatures, I dare you. Let's play this guy. So, before the trigger, they're going to shuffle this in, which is fine. Oh, they're not going to do that. Okay. I think we're taking a Skull Clamp because we have Lingering Souls. We also need a Swamp. Good times when Parallax Wave was in Standard. Wow. Tell me how old you are without telling me how old you are. Seems good. I do need a swamp. I kind of like Lingering Souls here, but I do want to discard Lingering Souls. We could just discard Thraben Inspector, I guess. I was there when Alliances was a new set. Same, buddy. Same. I like a I like a Jitte with no creature. I also like that you played it and did not keep unexpectedly absent up. That is good for us. What? You could have literally unexpectedly absent and played Jitte. That that's that's not what you wanted to do. Let's get rid of the Raven. Yeah, we're probably going to clamp and draw here. I want to hit lands. Ah, oh, the old clamp and draw. Oh, man, Inquest was great. I just downloaded all the Duelist issues recently. Okay, great, 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 great. Uh, I guess we'll pay a black. That seems like what they like. All right, I think we're way ahead this game, based on the fact that we have five cards, three creatures, a skull clamp, and they have uh, nothing in hand. Oh, Grave Titan. Here we go. Mm, that's good, too. All right, well. Remember when I was like, we're way ahead. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, Lauren's pretty good. Getting rid of Jitte seems great. And then we want to hit... We want to hit a swamp so that this snuff out's free. We should be able to do it. Okay, well, not yet, but, you know, eventually. Okay, no, there's just no swamp in the deck, I guess. Great. <laughs> I just need a fucking swamp, man. Oh, my God. There's like seven swamps in the deck, for Christ's sake. And I got a discard. Jeez Louise. Well, I'd like to play two three drops next turn. I'm not going to get rid of Jitte. We'll take it at Spellbinder's not going to do anything here. I think we're just taking a million. But we can actually play Lauren. Give the Spirit Token plus one plus one. Equip it with Skull Clamp to make it a three one. Attack to get Lauren back and kill the battle sphere and then also draw two after this uh the plus one plus one goes away so that's not terrible oh that guy's fine oh my god 10 years later so what we can do, we can go Scale Lord for five. Scrubs. Uh, I actually don't want them to kill it with a, like a Wasteland, and we don't need Scrubland that badly, so. <sighs> scale Lord for five. 
put the ability on this so it gets plus one, plus one, making it a two. Yeah, literally, it was the 20th card in our deck. <laughs> oh, Lord. I mean, now we can snuff this guy out. One, two, three, four. I mean, I'm tempted to just play Jitte. It just kills so many things here. And then we still get snuff out. Yeah, that seems good. I can't play anything else here. I think this is fine. We're at nine. We take three. And we're just trying to dodge the, like these. Oh, uh, that's fine. Uh, not any scale lord is actually very good. Also, Graveyard Trespasser can gain us some life. Jitte gains us life. I think this is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Makes this a two. We clamp it, make it a three. Every turn getting something back seems really good. Oh, we just win the game. Great. <laughs> Great success. All right. So we're basically playing the mirror match. They have him to Torok. Oh. Well, I could bring in Wrath of God. We could splash this Ancestral. <laughs> we can't do that at all. Our deck seems good against the mirror match. I can see wanting Dismember over Snuff Out for certain things. Like if they have any black creatures that we just want to kill. I could also just see bringing like Vampire Hexmage or Tenacious Underdog as blockers, like as guys. Blade Splicer also seems good. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think we have a lot of removal. Yeah, I like this. Oh, they went to six. Okay. Aspirant into Steel Seraph seems good. Every game. Thoughtsies? One time. No times. Oh, where were you last turn? Fascinating. They seem to have a lot of creatures with no jit with jitte with no creatures. It's 
put it on the mom. Let's make mom strong. I don't know if that's correct. Yep, battle sphere every game. Gotta like that. So we can kill it. What if we kill it and play Voidwalker? Does that do anything? Oh, we can put a counter on Voidwalker too. Let's do that. Because now it's Jitte proof. So now it's both Jitte proof and we have Mother of Runes. Yeah, you should definitely lend. Yeah, lend, lend Shakira some money. That's probably the real Shakira. Parallax Wave. Well, we're going to pro white this guy. Fascinating. So if we get their battle sphere back, they just get it back with this guy, huh? Well, Parallax Wave is a hell of a drug. One, two, three. Well, Council's Judgment. Sure. How about now? Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. Well, I think we just named Jitte here, actually. These guys are kind of bad, and this is going to go away on its own eventually. Getting rid of this, like, they still have Jitte, they can still equip and attack and then kill, like, any number of our creatures. But getting rid of Jitte just seems really good. If we hit a land, we just play Steel Seraph. If we don't hit a land, we just play Steel Seraph. Thoughtseize, you have one card? Sure. Oof, let's get rid of that guy. Uh, cast with Prototype. All right, top decks for everyone. Man, we are like, it's basically the mirror match where it's like, they have Scrubland, they have Godless Shrine. Did we get Parallax Wave? I don't think so. I think her only four drops are like, um, Sarah Paragon and Snuff Out. No, I think that was the, that was earlier today. Oh, great land. Beautiful. Yep, that'll do. All right, 2-1. Not the worst. Definitely our second round opponent had the nuts, but yeah, I'll take a 2-1. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. 
I'll see you next time.